at noon. Election 2024. Coverage you can count on. Good afternoon. It is Tuesday, November 5th, Election Day. I'm Valerie Myers. Cambria and the surrounding counties have been experiencing ballot tabulating issues today as many machines are unable to scan ballots. Some precincts are reportedly putting paper ballots in lockboxes to be scanned at a later time, and other precincts are reportedly telling voters to return later in the day once those machines are fixed. As far as the reasoning for this, officials confirmed with 6 News that this is an issue with how the ballots were printed, not with with the tabulating machines. We've got team coverage this afternoon to tackle all of your questions and ease your worries on this election day. Our Tyann Bell is out in the field at polling places speaking to concerned voters. We'll get to her in just a bit, but first let's head over to Jonathan O'Halloran who is at the Cambria County Courthouse in Evansburg speaking to election officials to figure out just what is going on with the ballots today and what will be done to correct the problem. Jonathan. Valerie, good afternoon. County officials here have been hard at work all morning long trying to fix the voting issues that have run rampant throughout Cambria County all day long. And now that is it has included an extension to when the polls will close later tonight. Polls in Cambria County will now be open until 10 p.m. following disruptions at polling places throughout the county. The Board of Elections tells us that there's a system-wide software issue that stopped voting machines from being able to successfully scan ballots. We've now learned that the ballots themselves contained a printing issue from the manufacturer that left the machines unable to read those ballots. The county says instead, votes are able to fill out their paper ballot and have it placed in a secure drop box. Voters have reported to us that some polling places were not following that directive earlier, instead turning people away and telling them to come back later. Joining us now with an update on that situation is Cambria County Solicitor Ron Repack. Ron, I want to get right into what the issue was here today. Tell us about this printing issue. What happened? How is this something that wasn't discovered prior to uh, the polls opening this morning? Yes, uh, thank you very much. So it is a, a ballot issue. Uh, at the end of the day, it has to deal with the way that the ballots have the markings on the side of them, that the machine was unable to read them. Uh, the test ballot worked and the mail-in ballots work. Uh, so at the end of the day, we would not be able to discover this until voting actually um, was, was commenced. Uh, we have put into place different measures, uh, as, you just, as you just stated. Uh, one, we, have, um, we will be hand counting uh, the ballots that went in earlier in the secure boxes, uh, and we do have measures in place to ensure uh, that those remain confidential, secure, uh, and in place uh, as required. We also have express voting machines that are, have allowed uh, individuals right now to be able to vote, and we have taken measures now to order additional ballots um, that are being run off to be able to make sure that they are accurate. And they will be turned over to the polling locations uh, so that we can commence normal voting with the machines. Uh, those are in transit as we speak. When do you suspect that people are going to be able to vote, quote unquote, normally again today? Yeah, I, I hate to give a specific time um, just because we don't know exactly in that transit if there's traffic or anything of that nature, but we are hopeful by this afternoon uh, that we will be able to do so. Uh, luckily and appreciatively, uh, the judge was able to grant an emergency petition um, that I filed this morning. Uh, it will extend the polls from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, uh, and I want to thank, again, both uh, parties for, for working with us and trying to move forward and get that done um, as we had a, about a two-hour hearing uh, this, this, this morning. What is the message you you guys have to say uh, to people who might be disheartened by this from an election integrity standpoint who thinks that maybe their votes aren't as secure as they once were. Yeah, again, I would, I would say that's just not true. At the end of the day, we have measures in place. Uh, we have more staff this election than we've had in the past to ensure that voter integrity um, is the number one priority. Uh, we've even had grants received to make sure that voter integrity is the number one priority. Uh, so again, I believe that every vote will be counted. It is being secured, uh, and we have measures in place to ensure that, including, again, poll watchers and um, political parties both have observers to be able to make sure that that's correct. Ron Repack, he is the county solicitor here in Cambria County. And so that is where we are right now. All those widespread voter issues that we had earlier this morning, they've discovered what that issue is, and there have been plans put in place now that is going to work to correct that. Of course, polls, again, are going to be open two hours later today. Those polls from 8 to 10 p.m. will now be provisional ballots, so they'll have to go through an additional process that they did not have to before, but they still will, will be counted. Officials here are stressing that the integrity of the election is not altered by what's happening
happened here today, and they encourage everybody to go out to vote confidently. That is the latest here from the Cambria County Courthouse in Ebensburg. Valerie, I'll send it back to you. Thanks, 